Hello, Internet. My name is Father Casey Cole, and this is Breaking in the Habit. As a Catholic priest, a Franciscan friar, and really just a Christian man, I read the Bible a lot and actually have many different versions for many different purposes. I've got my Catholic study Bible. Academic. Serious. There are maps and commentaries, 700 pages of resources. This thing is always at my desk. I've got my journaling Bible, comfortable to hold, thick pages, easy to take notes all through the margins. This baby sits at my chair in my room and I pray with it every day. There's this little pocket guy. You may need a magnifying glass to read its words, but man, is it convenient to travel. Just throw it in your backpack and I've got the word of God no matter where I go. And that's not even counting my phone. So yeah, I've got some Bibles. As far as the Word of God goes, I am more than covered and not exactly in the market for another one. At least, I wasn't. Then Bishop Robert Barron sent me his. Folks, this here is a game changer in the world of Bibles. It's called the Word on Fire Bible and frankly, I've never seen anything like it. Right off the bat, the first thing you notice is that it is a work of art. It's being advertised as a cathedral in print and you can immediately see why. The cover is made of natural tumbled full bovine top grain leather so it's not gonna crack or fall apart over time and embossed with gold lettering and artwork. The pages are not your ordinary tissue paper quality but are thick and matte coated displaying text that jumps off the page. It's got some of the best artwork the Western world has ever produced printed with stunning quality. Why would he do this you ask? Well, it isn't just to make the book more luxurious or to raise the price for its own sake. The beauty and craftsmanship of the Word on Fire Bible isn't about attractive packaging. It's the very substance and inspiration of the book in the first place, and really what's behind all that Bishop Barron does. Beauty is an experience of God. Along with truth and goodness, it is a transcendental that doesn't just bring us happiness. It calls us to something deeper, something beneath and beyond. Even without an explicit sense of God, even for those postmodern atheists, beauty speaks to the heart and draws one in. As the Word of God should, don't you think? By elevating the presentation of this book beyond just what can be cheaply mass produced, using high quality materials, making sure the ink pops off the page, including magnificent works of art, even the non believer will be drawn in, enticed to grasp what the book seeks to share. More than just another study Bible, beyond just for devotional or self-help practices, what Bishop Barron set out to create in this Bible is the first of its kind, it is a Bible chiefly concerned with evangelism. For the Christians seeking to grow deeper in their faith, but even for those new to Christianity, this Bible is designed to move beyond the bare facts and to introduce the reader to the person of Jesus Christ. More than just depositing knowledge, it's about having a personal experience, an intimate encounter with the Word made flesh. In this first volume of an ongoing series, the reader gets the New Revised Standard Version translation of the four Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, but they get so much more. The artwork amazes with beauty, and it does so to tell the story of Christ. Interspersed to correspond with the text of Scripture, theological analysis of the paintings is included to bring the worlds of art and faith together. Of course, reflective essays from Bishop Barron can be found all throughout, elucidating the text for a modern audience, providing the style and substance that people have come to rely on from him. But that's not all. In the Word on Fire Bible, others find their voice as well. Connecting the church to its long history of faith and action, the reader is presented with excerpts from the church fathers like Augustine, John Chrysostom, and Ignatius of Antioch, and contemporary voices like G.K. Chesterton, Flannery O'Connor, Thomas Merton, and even Pope Francis. If you're interested in getting your own copy, Word on Fire will be releasing it in a number of formats on June 15th, exclusively on their website, wordonfire.org Bible. Production has begun to publish volumes of the rest of the Bible, first for the rest of the New Testament in 2021, and then various volumes of the Old Testament thereafter. Two weeks ago, I was not in the market for a new Bible, but I can definitely tell you that this one has a place in my collection. If you're looking for a new take on reading scripture, maybe you're thinking about reading it for the first time, this might be the one for you. It's a beautiful work of art, a handy resource, and something I plan on using a lot. Hey everyone, I'm sure we've got a lot of new viewers here on Breaking in the Habit, so I want to encourage you to check out what I've done in the mission of evangelization and catechesis here on my YouTube channel, on my other social media platforms, and in my own books. Subscribe if you like. Peace and good to you all.